up behind the trees. I think we woke him up. So, day 28. <laughs> We're up early enough to see moose. Up at 5, out by 6.30. Sorry, traditionally I say, good morning. There. Look at the beautiful trail. I'm not feeling beautiful today. The nights are not short enough. <laughs> the dates are too long. <laughs> but we've got places to be. According to the schedule, we're actually ahead of where we needed to be, but the schedule is wrong. <laughs> Unless things change rapidly. We better try to stay ahead. <laughs> These miles, they have not been easy miles. I still don't quite know what's going on. I'm not sure if it's like a triathlon when you transition from one to the other. It hurts for a while. But this really hurts. And you'd think after this many days on trail, nothing would hurt anymore. Well, that's what I would think. <laughs> it's been my experience. After a while, you just don't care. Up, fine, down, okay. But, uh, yeah, I've been feeling this. Right now. That's a lot of bugs. It's like an ambush. <clears throat> well, theoretically, if the clouds don't take everything away, there'll definitely be some views later. And if miraculously I can do the 12 mile day, well, then there should be some spectacular views later. Weather dependent. The weather comes in, we'll be hiking through a cloud if we go over the top of the mountain. <laughs> but it still sounds like that would be better to do today than tomorrow. Well, I will see you out there somewhere. This is where I wanted to camp last night. Whew, I'm glad I didn't. I would have been beat by the time I got here. I was beat when I got where I was. Who am I kidding? Oh, wow. Yeah, this is Orbit and Stream. It's an old road that runs through here. Makes for fantastic tent camping. It stretches for quite a ways here like this where you could set up plenty of tents. I see they've brushed in, tried to make it clear, don't go this way. This is where that lady got lost. Ended up staying out here until she died. I remember before they did all this, the first time I came up here, I was coming this direction and there's just no indicator of where the trail is from here. So they've tried to make it clear, don't go this way by throwing some stuff here. 
Because if you go around the corner, there's a sign in the trees. But it doesn't do any good up there. It should be down here where you'd see it. <laughs> so that would have made more sense. Oh, well. Well, we're going to take a little break, get some water. I guess we could see what time it was and see how long that two miles took us. I'm flattened, so I'm assuming that was fast two miles. I'd hate to think it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, this shirt was wet when I put it on. It dried out a little bit. Now it's wet again. Seven forty-one. So that's not bad. It's about an hour. Maybe a few extra minutes. I'm not sure how long I screwed around trying to figure out where the trail was. I crossed the brook to find the trail and I found the trail and the trail wanted to cross the brook again. So it slowed things down a little bit. But. Oh well, I'm just babbling at you, moving this camera around to drive you crazy. But here, look at the tree. No, <laughs> I'm going to make some water, catch my breath, and then... Uh, to see the shelter is just a few miles I know it's a little bit up so that'll be our next target that'll take longer than an hour but I'll see you there top of the ridge to you I don't think it's that hard of a climb. I think I'm dying. I hate to say it, but we're giving some serious thought to going home. I just can't seem to breathe. And I don't understand it. I'm just having to stop to catch my breath all the time. I don't think I can make the miles that I need to make if I have to keep stopping like this. Junior, it's the small one. I didn't know I knew that move. So yeah, we're going to have to climb up that big lump there. I didn't know how that's going to go. But if we can get up there, we can get to the campsite.
is not the one I might have wanted or wished to be at, but I think that's where we're going to be. And then we'll have to see what happens next. I tried loosening the shoulder straps on my pack to see if maybe they were too tight. I don't understand why I can't breathe. I've always been able to breathe before. So I've got a lot of other problems, as you well know. But over the years, I've figured out what to do about them. We resolve them pretty well. But this one is baffling. I mean, it doesn't seem like any of this is that much harder than anything else we've been doing for the last month. It is higher altitude, but... I don't know. I've never had this much trouble with altitude before. Well, there are going to be some views if I can get up there, so. You know, I'm not very exciting right now, but we'll try to get you something. I thought maybe you'd want to see these fabulous views, so. I stopped here to catch my breath. I mean, I stopped here to, to show them to you. We were up on those mountains yesterday. Then we camped down on the side of there. We went down, we went up that ridge. Somewhere in there is the shelter. And then we've hiked up this and up to here. It's not very many miles, but holy cow, it's a lot of work. I think loosening up the backpack straps may have helped. Not having to stop for air as much. I still don't feel great, but I think I may have tightened them down during that rainstorm on the road walk. And I think they were compressing my rib cage. I don't think I could expand them to breathe properly. Either that or it's all psychological, but as long as it's better, it doesn't matter if it's imaginary or real. It's just got to be better. We had a few drops of rain there. Didn't let that stop me. I don't know, this might stop me. I'll see you at the top. There's a little, just a little more huffing and puffing to do here. I think I was pointing at the wrong mountains earlier. I think we were on those mountains. When they're behind me, they're my friends. When they're in front of me, well, yeah, it's different. Those are the lumps we'd hoped to get over today, but we've now given up on that plan. We'll have to hope we can get over them tomorrow. 
Tomorrow we're supposed to be over there somewhere. We got more than those lumps of food tomorrow. That's why I wanted to get over them today. Stay ahead of the game. Now it's going to be a race. But I've received word. But we should look at that club before we leave. It's a really good one. Yeah, it's going to rain. I've received word that my next resupply has arrived. It's waiting for me in Andover. So, this is inspirational. I really think this loosening up the backpack straps may have made a huge difference. I'm hoping, pardon me, I'm hoping tomorrow will be a new man. A good night of sleeping at high elevation. We're sleeping over there somewhere on the side of that mountain. But yeah, we'll make some blood cells tonight. <laughs> Hope for the best tomorrow. family's leaving for camp so I suppose I could get them to come get me tomorrow but after that no there's no escape so I'm pretty sure they don't want to come get me tomorrow either you know it is the day before camp if you got a lot of packing to do Yeah, it's pretty up here. I really like this mountain. It's so hard to get to. You've got to come over a bunch of other mountains to get here. There's no trail that just comes here that I know. I know I should go. I'll see you at camp. Oh, sorry, there's a lot of bugs here. If I start getting twitchy or sweary, you don't know why. You're quite aggressive. Reddington Stream, tent site. Pretty sketchy. Trying to find a place where the trees won't fall on you is kind of hard. But we're hoping these stay up for the night. Tried to pick some live ones to hang from, but. Wow. Yeah. Tough day out there. <laughs> They're all tough, but. I'm going to go lay in the hammock and relax. I don't know. Maybe I'll see you later. Otherwise, this is night night. This is day 28. That's four solid weeks for those of you keeping track. And I don't think I'm going to quit. But we'll see what happens <laughs> I really think it was just that those pack straps were keeping my, my chest from expanding. But I was basically suffocating for two days there. And I think it took a toll. <laughs> it really... It was hard. It seemed much easier once I loosened them up. Not easy, but easier. All right, I'm going to be in there hiding from the bugs. You guys are on your own. Maybe I'll see you later, but otherwise, day 28. Look at that. There's just 15 more to go. Oh my God. It's, we're almost done. 